Do you know that angels are messengers? Do you know that angels are supposed to work for you in your favor? Well, now you know. In this particular video, I will be teaching you four steps to activating the ministry of angels. Also, understanding how exactly angels work. But please, if you're not subscribed, do where to subscribe, to like, share, and comment on every single video I post because every single video I post will bless your life and other persons will see this video and also be blessed just like you be blessed. Now, how do you activate the ministry of angels in your life? And how do you activate the workings of angels in your life? First of all, you have to come in line with your abilities scripturally. The Bible in the book of Psalm chapter 104 verse 4 says, He maketh his angels towards spirit and his ministers flames of fire. Now, we as children of God have the spirit of God and these angels, God that has saved us and given us his spirit has also made these angels what? Spirit. Now, this spirit that is inside of us have the abilities and capacities to what? Send messages to these particular angels that have been transformed into spirit by this same God. You have to come into the understanding that you have these abilities to send angels messages and they would in turn come back with results that will benefit or come in line with your favor. What I'm saying is very, very scriptural. In the book of Psalm chapter 91 verse 11, that the Bible says that he will command his angels to what? To guide you and to keep you wherever you go. Now, some certain scriptures said he will command his angel to, to protect you. Now, angels have scripturally and biblically be given charge over us as children of God to protect and to guide us. Now, the problem why most persons do not have the workings of angels working in their life specifically is because they have failed to come into the abilities and understanding that these angels are supposed to work in their favor. Now, most Christians just exist and do not tap into the realm of angelic abilities because they do not have that understanding. They see angels so far away from them that it becomes so difficult for them to give instructions. Even the scripture, the Bible, remember the particular part of the scripture said, now he has given his angels was charge over me, yet or less I dash my foot against his stone. That means angels have been given a charge. They have been given an instruction to guide and to protect, to uphold you less what you dash your foot against the stone. Now the reason why you are dashing your foot against the stone is because you have failed to understand that these angels have been given charge over you and you think that they are so far away. Now you have to come into that understanding and abilities that they have been given charge over you. So here yeah, they have no choice to respond to the abilities or respond to the instructions given by you. Reason being that you are a child of God and operating with the Spirit of God. Now that's number one. Number two on our list is what? To tap into deeper dimensions. What do I mean by tapping into deeper dimensions? See, in the book of Matthew, angels do not, first of all, angels do not operate in the regular dimensions of men. They do not operate in the regular dimensions of men. So if you must learn to instruct or converse with them to get results, you must also learn not to operate in what? In the regular dimensions of men. What am I trying to say? Now, when Christ was ministered to by the angel in the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 11, specifically. Now, Christ had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And now, in course of this particular fasting, after the fasting and temptation, what happened? After the devil, the tempter left, angels came and what ministered to him. Because Christ at this particular point was not in the equilibrium of men. He was not operating in the place of men. Now, if you want to have a constant administration of angels in your ministry or in your life, they must learn not to operate in the realm and dimensions of men. What am I trying to say? You must learn to pay the sacrifices and do the things that will necessitate spiritual abilities hovering around you, which include fasting, prayer, and deep dimensions. You must learn to seek deeper into God because there are some level of realms you will pray to. The angels will have no choice to come to do your biddings. Reason being that you are already operating in the realm where they can take instructions from. Angels, before you see angels condescending to the atmosphere of men or to the realm of the earth realm or into the earth realm to pass information, then there must be a strict or like there must be a strict, they must be operating under a strict instruction coming from a higher authority. That simply means that God can specifically make them to come. In, or to intervene into a specific instruction to help a particular man get access to what he truly desires. But that particular man in question must have sought God and provoked heavenly beings to what 
come in line to what he bring result to his specific petitions and plea. Now, if there is no man to come into this particular picture, the angels will be there, ready to serve, but there will be no man to give the instruction. So you must learn to come into the dimensions that is beyond men. You must learn to come to that dimension of discipline, the dimension of consistency, the dimension where you hear God if you must have something to do with angelic ministrations. You must learn to come into that dimension. Christ was there for 40 days and 40 nights and that necessitated the angelic ministration. Now before every angelic ministration comes a particular dimension of breathing or a particular dimension of ministration of the spirit which means you must first of all first of all connect with the spirit like have a relationship with the spirit and this will like bring or bring the angelic uh, uh, dimensions closer to in order to take the information and bring the result so yes if you are here, you want to be having a regular angelic meditation and are not ready to do some certain kind of sacrifices, how would you have it? Christ paid the price. 40 days and 40 nights is not a joke to you. But what happened? At the end of the day, angelic ministrations happened after the temptation left. That is to tell you, and we don't need to ask what was minister. We saw the fruit in his ministry. So, there is no angelic encounter that will not bet positive results. That is what you should understand. So, yes, dig deeper into the dimensions of God if you want have access to what? The dimensions of angelic ministrations. Now, the next thing on our list is what? Be sensitive in the time of temptation. One of the most beautiful times angels love to minister to men at the times of, of at their down moments rather, or the time of their temptation. Now, in the book of Luke, chapter 22, from verse 42 to 43 to be precise, Christ made a particular prayer, God, if it be possible, let the score pass from me, not as I will, but as thou will. And what happened? After he made that particular prayer, down was, you see, Angel came and, and the angels came and ministered strength to him. That should be in verse 43 to be precise. And angels came what? And ministered strength to him. That is to tell you, in the time of your down moments, in the time of your temptation, there is always an angelic ministration hovering around. But most of the times, we are too carried away by our emotions that we do not see these angelic ministrations. And that end up, ends up affecting the result that should come from that particular temptation or trial. Each victory or overcoming that comes from the particular things of best positive results and best positive what changes in a believer's life. Now, when a believer is posed or with a particular situation that has necessitated the believer's abilities to comprehend, that believer should learn to be sensitive to the workings of the spirit that comes in line with that particular temptation. Now, Christ made this particular prayer out of his down moment. When even when Job was down, even when Christ was tempted, what happened? You would always see angelic uh, um, workings hovering around any particular time that necessitated. When a believer is down, it is normal that when a believer is down, the same way the devil ministers wrong stuff to a believer's ear, there is always an angel on a standby, ready to minister life and strength to that particular believer. But most believers fail to tap into this dimension of grace. Is it been that they are too carried away by their emotions? Now, as a person who is trying to grow in God, or as a person who wants to have access to angelic ministrations, you must slam not to be moved by your emotions. Now, when you are trapped in a place of low understanding, or you are trapped in a place where there is, I don't know people, but, but there is this thing that is bringing you down deeply. It is time for you to pay attention to what God is trying to say. And most of the times, God will definitely send these messages through angelic beings. So it's time for you to pay attention because the angels are by the corner to minister strength. Now, when you are not ready to pay attention, that is when out of your temptation, you grow weaker in strength. You are supposed to grow stronger in strength from your temptation. But because you have failed to pay attention to the ministration and working of a of angels happening during that particular trial moment as a result of your weakness or your emotions you will end up mixing the reality that should come from that particular trial so instead of crying killing yourself with your emotions why not pay attention to the reality pay attention to the workings of the spirit that is why sometimes when you are down you are you are you realize that you just keep on hearing someone talking to you ministering strength to you yes the comforter is there i understand but the comforter is there, surrounded with angelic, uh, angelic workings. They are there to minister strength to you. But when a believer is carried away by emotions, emotion has a way of watering down the things of the spirit. When you are so carried away by emotions, you see that even your dream realm stop making sense to you. 
You are going through hard times, but yet you are seeing revelations. Revelation that ministers strength. Revelation that ministers solutions. It's not a time for you to feel like, okay, these things can never come to pass as a result of the things you are going through. No. You will only be limiting the workings of the angels or the workings of the Spirit of God inside of you. But when you are seeing these angelic dreams and things happening to you, even in the midst of the that moment, the now does not look like it, but the future, the angels and God knows. You are seeing these things happening. You just connect your spirit and you get the strength. You draw the strength and you realize that what well, this leads to greater expansions. Now, the fourth thing on our list is what? Be burdened for a solution. What do I mean by being burdened for a solution? See, when a man desires a particular solution and this particular solution you desire it genuinely from angelic interventions through god when you are burdened for a particular thing ah my god god has no choice as long as you're a believer that to send the angels responsible for that prompt response to what to give you that particular thing when daniel was praying because he was burdened what happened god sent an angel to bring the particular solution to that particular prayer to him. God sent an angel to bring the particular solution to that particular prayer to Daniel. What happened? Out of the light, someone hid it. The Prince of Persia hid that part, held that particular prayer. God still had to send other angels to go and wrestle. To go and wrestle to get the solution for Daniel. Because somebody was burdened and angels were ready to answer. I will be answerable to the command of a man that understood the capacity of that he carried and what it looked like higher to what to, to, or and what it looked like to want to be bound by the burdens of wanting solution from God. So when you want solution from God and you are bound by that body genuinely, what happened? God would definitely go the extra mile with angelic administration to bring the solution. In Genesis chapter 32. Remember a particular man, Jacob. Do you remember his story? That held on to a man and said, I will not let you go what, unless you bless me. Jacob was burdened for a solution. And he held on to the angel. And when the angel saw that, ah, walking in the earth realm at this particular point is not different because I cannot be seen in the earth realm on the daily. What happened? He had to give him what he wanted. And that necessitated Jacob's name being changed to Israel because he was burdened for a solution. Now, when you are burdened for a solution, you don't just pray haphazardly. You pray with a specific intention. You pray talking to God, telling God, I am burdened for this particular solution and I need an angelic intervention. And yes, God will intervene through angelic means to give you that particular solution. Angels are there to hit your instructions. They're not there for fancy. They are there to hit your instructions. So you are here to like, angels, where are my money? I command the angelic anointing to release my funds wherever they are. And they just begin to come, begin to come. Reason being that the angels are there on standby to take instructions. So when you give instructions immediately, they go forth as messengers and they connect to the, to the, to the, to the dimensions that bring the instruction. And then they bring the solution to you. Just like that. Because you have a body to what? To better back that solution. And they are there to grant you the solution. I want to believe this particular video has helped you and has cleared your understanding. Thank you so much for watching. But if you have not subscribed, thank you, but subscribe. <laughs> and if you have subscribed, I love you so much. Keep watching. Come back next time I post more amazing video that will bless your life. Like, share this video, and the good Lord will keep blessing you. See you next week.